Hey guys, so when I started breeding rodents again, uh, for the very first time I decided to breed rats. So I breed African soft furs and rats. And in my very first litter, I produce this stunning male. He's sort of a whitey cream color, and then he has this beautiful blue dorsal and this diamond white face. So very early on I decided to keep him and kind of line breed it a little bit. And very, very fast, it's unlike many other animals, where you've got to do so much line breeding. Very, very quickly, I've created ones like these, and I'm gonna show you some smaller ones. So, people were saying, oh, don't, don't hold it back. You know, um, these are bred to feed snakes, but just because they're to feed my collection, it doesn't mean I can't enjoy breeding them and create all these cool little striped ones. I really do think these look amazing. And I'm sure millions of you have done this. I'm not exactly, rewriting any books or breaking any molds but if you're thinking of getting into breeding rodents or you've just started and you're thinking shall i hold this one back and shall i hold that one back yeah you absolutely should make it as enjoyable as you absolutely can now this is one of my favorites he's sort of like a beautiful gray color and then kind of cream sides so if i grab another one so that's white and that's you can just make him out his cream so i'll grab some more out just to show you but I really do enjoy breeding these. So here's a couple of them smaller ones I've just talked about. So these, interestingly enough, these the whites are a bit whiter, a bit more crisp, and it's got these this this particular ones. Sorry guys, I'm still getting used to how to hold them, so I don't want to squeeze them. Got a cool little like lightning strike down his face. So that one will get kept. And then we've got the very typical sort of uh, V or uh, diamond first ones with these beautiful little white stripes. A bit like a badger, I guess. So, really like this one too. And he's got a nice uh, diamond shape and a broad pan. Now, last up, I'm just gonna show you this one. So this is phase two of lion breeding. What I'm now trying to create is the diamond face like that, but, sorry guys, cross on the back. So I've created this with one line so I want, I want it to have a perfect cross down its back. I'm not massively religious or anything. I just think it'll look pretty cool. So diamond face, cross on the back. I'm, I'm three quarters of the way there. Just need this cross to go down there and then I've got it. So stay tuned for that.